Hey guys, it's Christian, and uh, we're here at the grand opening of Weirdaka Brewery outside of Laytonsville, Maryland, which is in central central Maryland in uh, northern Montgomery County. This place is really local to uh, DC, um, as well as Baltimore and Frederick. Uh, definitely worth the drive. Uh, let's talk to the brewmaster real quick. Keith, um, uh, you make some really great beers. Thank uh, you. Which one's your favorite? Right now, I'm drinking the coffee stout, uh, the Rebel League coffee stout. Um, solid, solid. That has some uh, 10 pounds of coffee in it. Um, a little dry, so you can drink a few of them, but enough uh, enough booze to get you going. Um, you know that and the saison. I'm I'm actually very happy about how that came out. Um, Richmond Yeast Labs. A little shout out to them. They hooked me up with some great um, saison strand. Uh, very happy with that. Uh, it's really dry. Uh, it's a little odd season to have a Saison, but that's what I like to drink, so light, easy, and crushable. Well, it's, well, it's got amazing flavor to it, and you had mentioned that uh, you were looking at it uh, as a great base for future, uh, future ideas. What kind, of, what kind of things are you thinking of? Yeah, uh, in the summer we're going to fruit beers and we're going to add a lot of er different herbs to beers, and so you know, I'm gonna, I have a kettle sour that's fer fermenting right now. Mm. Um, I have uh, that Saison going, I have another dark Saison in the tank, so I'm experimenting with all that stuff, so come spring we have that that all dialed in and, and ready to go. So fruit, herbs, um, those are kind of be our go-to addition. Uh, you've got a honey weed on here tonight that is just spot on. It's it's amazing stuff. So keep feeding those bees all, right. uh, all the good stuff. Yeah, we'll do. We were happy with the way it came out. Yeah, that was great. Between that and the coffee stout, uh, really great stuff. The Saison is going to be amazing. Um, I can't wait to see what other flavors you bring into it. Is there one on your on your list that you would recommend to, uh, to a, a casual beer drinker? Yeah, the honey wheat um, definitely would be a good entry level. I think the flavors are subtle. Um, the alcohol is not very high, not a lot of residual sweetness. Um, we will make beers for all types of drinkers, so we're going to make really good, well-crafted beers, but we will not, you will not see us make the 100 IBU beer or the 10% barrel-aged stout. That eventually will come, but we're going to make beers for people that want to drink a few Pilsners or want to drink a few Saisons and, you know, be able to enjoy the ambiance rather than trying to really get into it. So, as you can see, there are really beer people here. Um, tonight they're, they're having a, uh, an IPA, a honey wheat, a coffee stout, um, a double, and a uh, Belgian Saison. And really, these are great beers for, uh, uh, for a, a beginning brewery. Um, you know, I, I can't wait to see where they go with these in the future. We'll definitely be back. You should too. Uh, the, the grounds are, are beautiful. Uh, they're actually on a farm. They, they grow a lot of the ingredients here on site. Um, definitely worth a visit. If you're in the DC, Baltimore, Frederick area, um, definitely check them out. Uh, the people are very friendly. The grounds are beautiful. And, uh, and most importantly, the beers are great.